For the first time since 2018, NASA's Super Guppy touched down at the Marshall Space Flight Test Center. On the plane was an impressive piece of cargo. What's on the aircraft today is uh, about a five foot tall slice of the SLS rocket. It connects the top of the Space Launch System rocket with the bottom of Orion space capsule. Because the top and the bottom of the system are different diameters, this adapter was required, but the adapter brought a shoebox size bonus. But that gave us an opportunity with some space to fly these secondary payloads, which are small little CubeSats that get launched out into space. And because we're going all the way to the moon, we can take them a long ways. These CubeSats all have different objectives. Some will go to deep space. One will attempt to be the smallest rocket to ever land on the moon, and another will attempt to be the smallest satellite in space. As cool as the adapter is, the plane hauling it from Florida to Marshall is just as cool. One of its coolest features is simply its appearance. So the Super Guppy gets its unique appearance from its oversized cargo bay. And what that means is that it can carry cargo that is much larger than other aircraft can accommodate. So we can take cargo up to 25 feet in diameter. The Super Guppy isn't the easiest plane to fly, requiring a lot of manual effort and coordination. The wings, tail, and cockpit come from a donor aircraft, which was the KC-97, a cargo plane originally designed in the 40s. The Super Guppy actually dates back to the 50s and 60s. The only component unique to the Super Guppy is its oversized fuselage. You could call it a hodgepodge, you could call it a Frankenplane. It's a unique aircraft, yes. Seeing a Super Guppy is a rare sight. So rare, in fact. This is the last of a group of Guppy aircraft and the only one that is still flying. There were several different Guppy aircraft going back to the early 60s, but this is the very last one built and the only one that's still flying. From the Marshall Space Flight Test Center, Jordan Dressman, Fox 54 News. All right.